Hello, I'm Dionic, and welcome back to Let's Play Danganronpa. So first, some announcements, sort of. Uh, more, or more, more just me talking about what's going on in my life. Something that I actually meant to, like, tweet, but it's like more of you are watching my videos than reading my tweets. Um, or, or, or anything else. I, I was gonna make a vlog, but it's not too much information. Uh, I've been really, uh, like dead tired all the time. Um, after I was sick about two weeks ago, my, uh, my sleep schedule got, kind of got, like, completely thrown out the window, because I couldn't sleep. But that's how sick I was. Well, when I say I was sick, and, like, bedridden sick, I was sick sick. Like, it wasn't just me being like, oh, I, I don't want to do anything today, I'm sick. It was like, I physically couldn't do anything. So I was so sick. Um, so I was pretty much rolling around in pain, like, all night, uh, so my sleep schedule is completely messed up, um, which makes my work schedule completely messed up. Uh, so you guys only got two episodes of, uh, Indie Friday, uh, yesterday, uh, which is today for me, um, Everything's out of whack. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out how to get back on schedule, but everything's out of whack right now. So forgive me if I'm really, really tired or if I do anything stupid, that is why. I, I thought about a few days ago just pulling an all-nighter and then just recording, but there's so much reading in all of the games that I'm playing now that I'm like, well, it's not going to be fun for anyone if I do that because uh, I'm going to, you know, pull an all-nighter and then have to screw up reading everything, and, uh, and it's bad enough as is, but anyway, okay, all right, enough of all of that, now, now I got that out of the way, let's get started. Okay, so we're investigating, I hit my chin on my microphone, uh, we're investigating Sakura's murder. I'm gonna ignore, I'm gonna, I'm gonna suppress my feelings towards it and just get it over with. Because in my mind, she's still alive, and everything's... Remember when we were trying to open this locker? What the shit? Like, there's, like, hand prints on- I'm, 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 I'll inspect it, but- But- but I just wanted to look at it first. Alright, okay, yeah, so there's gonna be a picture of her in, the, like, the next chapter, like, high-fiving someone and being like, let's work out, buddies, and, and then we're gonna be like, oh, okay, they're all still alive. Maybe, I don't know. Okay. Uh, there's a plastic container on the floor near the rec room. Protolmen. Oh, that's the, uh, really good supplement that everyone was, like, crazy about, right? That's what she threw through the window. That's a shaker. She threw a shaker through the window? All right, anyway, there's a pause. All right, all right, yeah, yeah. It's not a bottle of protein, it's a shaker, lady. It looks like a bottle of protein. It's empty, too. It was probably Ugami's. She was always drinking protein. Well, what was thrown through the window to break it? Plus, she and Asahina like to talk about how pro how protein could cure anything. Be careful. That's hyperbole. Hi hyperbole. Hyperbole. Hyper. Hyperbole. Hyper. Hyperbole. What? What? What is hyperbole? Hyper hyperbole. I don't know. Yes, I know. Anyway, the label on the protein container says ChemLab A2. That reminds me, Ogami did say something about the ChemLab having four, or on the fourth floor, having good protein. Which would mean this container came from the ChemLab. Hmm, that doesn't make sense. Huh? What doesn't? No. On the floor around the container, there are shards of light blue glass from when I broke the door's window. What did we use to break the window? 
The shards aren't just scattered around the container, but under it as well. Is this planted evidence? Does that tell us something? I'm not sure specifically what it means just yet, but it wouldn't hurt to keep it in mind. I'm guessing it'll turn out to be very uh, a very important clue. Very important clue. What does she mean? I don't know. I don't. What did we use to? What did we use the? I don't. I don't remember when we used to break the window. And it's laying there like we used that to break. I guess we wouldn't have thrown it through the window though, right? We would have just like, eh, broken window, and then opened the lock. So that is weird. I don't know. All right, uh, loaded empty protein container into your lecture ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. Okay, so so something that has occurred to me, and I hope to God it is not true. And I hope, I hope, I hope that they would not do this to two of my favorite characters. Like, I, I really, really hope that this wasn't some elaborate- it doesn't really seem like it could be because, uh, Asahina, I- doesn't come- come off to me like the brightest bulb in the shed. I don't know. That's, that's, why do they keep the bulbs in the shed? I don't know. It's, uh, anyway, that's where I keep my bulbs. Um... So, I don't think that it could be an elaborate plot by her to keep other people from discovering certain evidence or whatever. And, and the thought did occur to me, so I, so that's why I'm saying it. Um, in case it turns out to be right. And I hope, I'm, I'm really saying it because I hope that it's not right. And that uh, there's no way that something like that would happen. Um, but I guess I could see Sakura being like, here's the way to kill me, and so you get out of here. There's no- they're not gonna let me out anyway, so you get a free kill. Or something. I- Maybe? I- I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. It's- I- I really, 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 really hope not. I- I didn't even want to say anything like that, but I- I've done it now, so there you go. Process that information. There's a pool of blood on the floor in front of the magazine rack. Well, I'm sure it must be Ogami's blood. Uh, something feels off about it. It is pink. Why is it so far away from the body? I don't know. Unless they, like, uh, clobbered her and she stumbled or something. Uh, loaded magazine rack, blood stain into the Electro ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. Okay, what if it was like accidental murder? What, what if it was... Okay, no, no, I, I was thinking, what if there were two murderers, but... Like... Well, who would be considered the co-conspirator if two people at the same time poured poison, like, s same bottle, same hand, same everything, poured poison, or, or even two different bottles of poison into her protein? Who would be labeled the murderer? That, that's... Yeah, that, 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 that's like a morality question right there. So you judge, I guess. It's probably not going to come up. It, they probably wouldn't do something like that. There are shards of glass scattered on the floor around the chair Ogre is sitting in. Oh, I thought it was blood. The glass is red, and look at this. What the heck? Or sorry, what, what the heck? What the that? See, I told you. I warned you. That's the neck of the bottle, and there's the bottom of it. Is this the bottle of poison? Did they hit her with the bottle of poison? So basically, that means these shards used to be a glass bottle. Loaded shards of glass into your Electro ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. Hmm. There's something else on the floor next to the glass. 
a single figure. Just small enough to fit in the palm of my hand. A Monokuma figure, yeah, like what the shit? Like I, I, I was trying to process the information. How, why, that, they weren't anywhere else? Who the hell would have that? Where the hell would they get that? Loaded Monokuma figure into your electrolyte. You can find it in the ammunition menu. All right. All right, well, here's, uh, here's this. Hmm, the locker door has been left open. And look at this, on the inside, there are handprints. Not it. Now, why would there be handprints in a place like that? Due to all the dust inside the locker, it looks like prints were left anywhere it was touched. So they appear to be relatively new as well. I'm guessing someone was hiding in the locker, and that's when they left these handprints. Oh, hey, in that case, could the culprit maybe, maybe have been hiding inside the locker when we unsealed the room? I feel like we would have seen that though. And then after we broke the seal, they slipped into the crowd. There is no crowd though. There's like three of us. Like how would we not notice someone who's like, Hey guys, I'm leaving the locker. Uh, acting like they had just shown up. Sorry to disappoint you, but that's out of the question. Yeah, it is. Huh? Why? Because it's moronic. Because it's idiotic. Because there were three people at least who had eyes. So that was six pairs of eyes. Six, six pairs. <laughs> there, there were. Yeah, everyone has two pairs of eyes. No. Recall how the room looked through the window before the sta- Oh, okay, well that's not something I thought about. You have a photographic memory, lady. Maybe she's a cyborg. Ah, uh, that's right, the locker was already open. Therefore, it's not possible for someone to have been hiding in the locker when we unsealed the room. Hmm, but in that case, what do these handprints mean? Maybe someone was hiding in there, and they, um, like, maybe she, because she was chasing Higekyu, right? And then he was acting all weird a little while ago, but he could have, like, gone in there to hide. He may have witnessed the whole thing, like, but, you know, he may have gone in there to hide, and then, you know, she found him, and then he hit her in the head with a bottle of poison, and then ran away screaming. I have no idea how the room would have gotten sealed. Maybe she, I don't know, locked it and sat down. Alright, handprints are in the ammunition menu. Okay, so that is everything that- oh, okay, well, there's the hanky there. This looks like... A wrapper of some sort. Okay, well, I thought it was a handkerchief. Uh, he hey, that's... You recognize this, Asayuna? Well, yeah, I gave it to her. That's a candy wrapper. You remember how mad Sakura was when Genocider scratched me up? Well, to try to calm her down, I gave her some right after we left the infirmary. What if that poison was meant for you? The wrapper from the candy you gave Ogre. The candy had been in the dormitory storeroom. I love it so much. That as soon as the storeroom opened, I took the whole box back to my room so no one else could have gotten any. You like it that much? I wanted Sakura to taste it, too, which is why I gave her some. But now, she'll never taste it again. A Sahina. Loaded red polka dot candy into your Electro ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. I- okay, let, let's- let's- let's completely forget that Asahina could possibly be the culprit. 
maybe someone was trying to poison her. Like, she has enemies, right? Like, she literally just got into a fight with a nut job with scissors. So... And again, uh, her whole MO is she only kills, uh... Yaoi... people. So that's all I'll say about that. Because cause it's a hate crime otherwise, and I'm not gonna... Uh, what do you want? A hate crime for her, not for me. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I'm not like that. I'm not, I'm not a psycho murderer. Oh, uh, what do you want? Go play over there and stand out of my way. The scorn in his eyes is likely to burn a hole in my soul if I don't get out of here. And quick. Ow, my soul! Demo. I'm surprised someone even managed to kill Ogami. She's certainly not the kind of person who would go down easily. Sun. It most definitely would not have been easy. She was the super duper high school fighter. Both her body and spirit were extremely tenacious. So, how did the culprit manage to kill- POISON! Or, could they have at all? Maybe, they caught her by surprise? Taking her by surprise is probably the only way you could kill her. Yeah, and you know, poison. Oh, actually, maybe that's a bottle from back here. Okay, let's look back here. Is there a bottle missing? There are four red bottles lined up on the cabinet. Oh! Oh! I thought that was a label. I didn't realize there was a little figurine in them. Each of the bottles has a Monokuma figure inside. How the heck did the figure get inside the bottles anyway? It doesn't matter. Whatever. Who cares? Do we care? It doesn't seem like we should care. It's the same idea as an impossible bottle. Huh? Where you put something, say, a model sailboat, into a bottle with a mouth smaller than the object. So you build it pace by pace, or you construct the bottle around it. You've never seen anything like that before? Oh, I think I have. This is the Monokuma version. We can call them Monokuma bottles. Thanks, I guess. Oh, look, Monokuma. Like, that's okay. All right. They look like bottles with figurines in them, which we could also call them. We could call them bottles with figurines in them. I uh, loaded Monokuma bottles into your Electro ID. You can find them in the ammunition menu. Okie dokie. I'm slowly starting to piece things together. Monokuma bottles on the cabinet. The Monokuma figurine on the floor. The red glass everywhere. Uh, the, red frag or God, the red fragments of glass on the floor that I suspect used to be a bottle. Putting two and two together, it looks like Agami was hit over the head with one of these Monokuma bottles. At least that's what the Monokuma figure on the floor suggests. In other words, it's very well possible the murder weapon was a Monokuma bottle. I don't know how I feel about that. I think the murder weapon was poison, but because I'm pretty sure that, that is the only way that uh, Sakura would have gone down. Okay, let me make sure that there's nothing else. Okay, well, do I inspect the chair? That's interesting. The rec room door wouldn't open because the chair was shoved up against it. But I see no trace of any sort of apparatus like string or metal hooks or anything. So there wasn't anything done to the chair itself. Okay. This door is the one and only entrance in the rec room. The door doesn't have a lock and there's no trace of the handle being removed. The other, uh, sorry, the one thing that sticks out is the broken glass. But that's my fault since I broke it getting into the room. I also don't see any evidence of strings or any other kind of uh, contraption having been used. Which means there's nothing out of the ordinary about the door itself. Hmm. Having examined both the door and the chair, there's pretty much no question the door wouldn't open because the chair was wedged in front of it. 
The chair prevented the doorknob from turning, which in turn prevented the door from opening. And since neither the door nor the chair show any signs of having been modified in any way, the culprit couldn't have made the sealed room from the outside. It had to have been from the inside. Okay, loaded rec room door into your Electro ID. Okie dokie. Okay, so... We can look at the door. It's probably gonna be the same information. I hope I don't have to skip through it. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Nothing out of the ordinary of the door itself. Okay, all right. Oh, there's a cluk. What is the cluk? Right now, the time is around 1 p.m. Ah, uh, the murder took place an hour ago. I think it happened at noon? What was it? Hold on. Monokuma file says Sakura died at approximately noon. Okay, all right. So that puts it right about an hour ago. That was around the time Kirigiri and I were moving Alter Ego to the hidden room, wasn't it? It couldn't have been Kirigiri, right? I mean, we did leave her alone and then came back from the hall. Or, or came back from the secret room to the hall. I, re I really... God damn it. All right. I hope not. All right, uh, so that is everything, I think. Let's talk to Asahina. Oh no, I guess I need to inspect her body, maybe. I already know who did it. Tagami, Fukawa, or Hageki, one of those three. I mean, they all acted like Sakura was the bad guy. Okay, yeah, 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 you said this all last time. Let me tell you this. Sakura asked all three of them to meet her here in this room. That is new information. I'm happy I stopped. Okay. What? What? This morning, after you brought me to the infirmary, you know me and Sakura left together, right? Yes, well after that, she ended up going off somewhere by herself. But later on, I saw her again, and that's when she told me that she had left notes in all of their rooms. The note said, come to the recreation room before lunch. Before lunch. Her time of death was around noon. It's true. She told me herself. I tried to stop her, but she wouldn't listen. She said they were just going to talk and that I didn't need to worry. And yet, this happened. If I had just focused, uh, sorry, if I had just forced her not to come, none of this would have happened. Uh, Asahina. Telling her not to blame herself is probably asking the impossible. Loaded Asahina's testimony into your Electro ID, you can find it in the ammunition menu. But to think that Togami, Hugekir, and Fukawa were all summoned here by Ogami, here, to the scene of the crime, just before noon, when she was murdered, why didn't anyone offer us this information, like, immediately? Like, I feel like they should have been like, Oh, right, she wanted us to meet here. I'm surprised to see her dead. I should probably try to corroborate her testimony with the other three of them. Yeah. No, that's a good idea. Okay, let's look at... Ogami. Ogami spent her last breath here, slumped forward on the couch. As I recall, she was struck over the head. Normally, you'd expect that to be the cause of death, but the Monokuma file also mentioned she had vomited blood. There is indeed blood on her mouth. But what exactly caused her to vomit? Monokuma file says that aside from the wound on her head, there aren't any other external wounds. 
Uh, loaded Ugami's body into your Electro ID you can find in the ammunition. Maybe the blow to the head caused her to vomit bl I doubt it. Well, I mean, I know that stuff like that can happen, but I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, right. T Togami? I will say, though, you've taken notice of something absolutely fascinating. Not bad. Fascinating. Do you not think so? I wouldn't call it fascinating. But curious, maybe. There's no question, the reason she vomited blood has something to do with her death. Yeah, you don't say. Okay. I don't think there's actually... Okay, no, that's the blood behind her. I think that's everything. Right? Yeah, I think. Alright. Nah. She was a super... Okay, tenacious. Uh, maybe they caught her by surprise. That's the only way they could kill her. Alright, well, we're talking to... This guy. Uh, I got a question for you, Togemi. <laughs> Make it fast. Is it true that you received an invitation from Ugami to come to the rec room? <laughs> ah, so you know about that. Then it's true. <laughs> yes, a note to that effect was left under my bedroom door. But who the hell would be stupid enough to just waltz on in and let that monster kill them? Unfortunately, that does not rule Asahina out as a suspect. I mean, okay, so th this this game is a situation that puts everyone in, uh, I guess, in the way of being the suspect because there is a constant motive, and that's like one of the first things that you look for, and at least novels that I used to read. That, that's like one of the first things that you look for in a situation is motive. And then for motive, you collect evidence to back up your motive. So... Unfortunately... I don't know, like... I... Okay, a paranoid me would be like, okay, well Asahina could have written those notes and then said that story, and it didn't have to be Ugami's handwriting, right? But I'd like to think that Asahina would not be that... I don't know, like, uh... <laughs> I don't know, crazy, I guess. Psychopathic, like that's... I mean, unless uh, Sakura asked her to, and... I don't know. But then we would all be killed, and Asahina... Well, you know, we, we would all die except for Asahina, and she would get out alive, right? And that's, that's not... I, I can't see uh, Sakura agreeing to that. I can't see us, you know, wanting that. Anyway. Oh, what's on in here? Let a monster kill him. You didn't go. <laughs> of course not. I tore the note up and threw it away. I made no contact with Ugami whatsoever today. He said he didn't come to the rec room. But is he telling the truth? I don't have any evidence to claim otherwise, though... So, I just have to believe him for now. Oi. Uh, if you're done, then get out of my sight. Yeah, yeah, thanks, you dick. Okay, all right, loaded Togami's testimony into your Electro ID. You can find it in the ammunition menu. Okie dokie. Mm -hmm. Well, Nagi, have you gotten a good look at everything? Yeah, I think, at least a cursory, a cur cur cursory, I don't know, cursory look. Yeah. Ah, uh, next are interviews. I'm on guard duty, so I can't go anywhere. So you're going to go and do it in my place. She's got this all planned out, doesn't she? She's really good at this, if you hadn't noticed, and you're really good at taking her orders. Ever since we cleared the air about us, she's gotten a little pushy. Either way, she's right. We need to go. We are. We are. We are going to need to conduct some interviews. I need to see what the other two people Ogami summoned have to say about that. Okie dokie. Okay. Um... Alright, so what? Do I leave? Yes. Okay. So, unfortunately, I've ran my mouth. More than likely, the two of them are in the dorms. Okay, so I'll just run to the dorms. Okay, so... 
unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end this here. Um, yeah. I... It hurts my soul to suspect a Sahina, but I feel like it is way too convenient. And that there's going to be something... Something that is not right, you know? So something is, doesn't feel like it could be that clear-cut. No, nah, well, none of them have been clear-cut. But I feel like... I... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I feel like. I'm, I'm going to be shocked, and I'm going to hate the world if that is the thing that happened. But, I mean, I don't, I don't know the reasons why it would happen. And currently, I have no reason to suspect her other than... You know, or I, I have no reason to suspect anyone but, like, Higekir. And then I, he's, like, primary suspect, and then, you know, everyone else is under that in an order of... I don't know. I if, if I had to put him in an order, it would be, uh, Higekir, uh, Kirigiri, because, you know, you were... You, you weren't around her for, like, I don't know, let, let's say ten minutes when you are trying to get the computer going. And, uh... And then I guess that's a Hina, and then, uh, Dickbag would be probably the second to the last, and the last would be, uh, Jenner Slider's show, because Jenner Slider's show has a, uh, I guess has their own kind of, uh, what, what, what's it called? Pattern? I don't know. They, they, they have their own killing method that they said that they refused to go, I, I don't know, they, they did say that if they were going to do it, they would do it in a way that wouldn't get them caught. So, I don't know. May maybe. Maybe they were, but I, I don't know. May maybe they're enjoying being here and not going to prison. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. Leave a like. Comment on what you think. Who you think done it. If you know, don't tell me, of course, because that would be cruel. Uh, go check out the other videos I've done, and I will see you soon. No, 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 no,